everyone so welcome to the video for the wave motion before beginning with the video let me tell you that i have launched my own course in mathematics so you can check out the link in the description for that and the wave motion is a chapter which deals with the basically theoretical concepts so if you want to solve this chapter you must know the theory behind it so first of all let me discuss two two three important points which are important for the theory so first of all the velocity of a wave the wave it is it is given by omega by k where omega is the angular frequency and k is the angular wave number it is the wave you must remember it velocity of any particle on a wave that is any particle that if this is a wave the velocity of the wave is given by this formula whereas velocity of this particle which goes up and down and changes the y coordinate is given by d by by dt okay velocity of the wave is also given by the formula under root t by mu which is derived from here only so it is given by under root t by mu where t is the tension and this is the mass per unit length mass per unit length so it is taken according to that so string is fixed at both the ends so whenever we fix this string at both the ends like this we have two fixed walls here we have a string here we just fix it in any manner so let me fix it in any manner so both the ends of the string are fixed basically so the frequency is given by n by 2l into under root t by mu so you would come to know about these terms later on but before that let me tell you we know that velocity uh, is basically what frequency into lambda okay so frequency is this so velocity is also what velocity is under root t by mu and what is frequency frequency is this formula let me write here n by 2l into under root t by mu into lambda so we cancel under root t by mu under root t by mu from both sides so what i get the length of the string the length of the string which goes here can be given by n into lambda by 2 so this is also one of the most important formulas which you must know so now let us begin with the questions for the video let us deal with the simple question first of all in this question we have a string which is fixed at both the ends okay and it vibrates in a resonant mode with the separation of 2 cm between the consecutive nodes now let me tell you that what are nodes actually you must be knowing till by now so we have this thing here so these two point it goes like this and it goes in this manner like this so these two points where the amplitude becomes zero is known as the node so these two are nodes what is given here that the separation is given as 2 cm so this is 2 cm the separation is 2 cm so for the next higher resonant frequency this separation is reduced to 1.6 cm okay so it is the next higher for the lower one it is given 2 cm so let me assume that the first resonant frequency that is for the mentioned one is some n then for the second one that is the next higher one which is mentioned here can be given by n plus 1 okay so we need to basically find the length of the string so let us see that how we can find it so we know that the length of the string is given by n lambda by 2 so first of all let us deal with the first case here so it is given that the separation is between separation is 2 cm between two consecutive nodes so these are two consecutive nodes the separation is 2 cm so if i elongate it like like this and it goes here like this so this is given as 2 cm here so what is the wavelength wavelength will be the time the uh, distance from here to here so what is the distance from here to here 2 plus 2 basically so distance from here to here is 4 cm so what is the lambda for the first case when the difference the difference in the separation is uh, 2 cm so the lambda 1 will come out to be 2 into 2 that is 4 cm for the first case so the length from the first case comes out to be n let it remain n n and lambda comes out to be what 4 upon 2 that is 2 n so let it be in this manner now let us deal for the second case where the separation is reduced to 1.6 cm so here we can draw once again so now this separation is what 1.6 cm so let us elongate it further in order to get the lambda for this case so this will also be 1.6 cm so what will be the lambda for this case the lambda for this case will be the sum of these two that is 3.2 cm so n 
comes out to be what? Now see very carefully here, the second resonant frequency is n plus 1 because we have to take the next higher resonant frequency. So n plus 1, here n plus 1 will come, n plus 1 into lambda. Now what is the lambda for this case? That is 3.2. So 3.2 centimeter upon what now we have 2 here, so 2. Okay, so this comes out to be 1.6 into n plus 1. So this is the result number 1 that we have got. This is the result number 2 that we have got. Now, we need to find the length of the string in the question. Now you can see that this is also the length. This is also the length. Both, both must be equal in magnitude because it is the length of the same string that we are taking. So the value from here that is 2n should be equal to the value from here that is 1.6n plus 1.6 so we take it here so 0.4 n comes out to be 16 so n comes out to be what let me take 4 by 10 so 4 4 n comes out to be 40 okay so it is 1.6 so it will come out to be 4 okay it is 1.6 actually so 16 upon 10 so 10 and 10 gets cancelled 4 4 and we get n is equal to 4 so we can substitute n is equal to 4 anywhere here, wherever you want. So let me substitute n is equal to 4 here. So the length L comes out to be what? 2n that is 2 into n that is 4 and the length comes out to be 8 centimeter. So this is the final correct answer. These type of questions are very important for main. So you must know that how to solve such type of questions. Now let us move on to the second question for the video. Now this is a very important question from advanced point of view. So let us begin with that. So first of all, we have been given a pulley which is shown here. The string is stretched by the block going over the pulley. That is this block is going. Uh, so this is given here. The string vibrates in the 10th harmonic in unison with the particular tuning fork. So this is important point when a beaker. So first of all, let us deal with the first point here, then go on to the second point, which is given for the question. So we have been given that it vibrates in the 10th harmonic okay so we know that how to find out this is fixed at both the ends the string is fixed here the string is fixed here okay so we need to find that uh, what can be derived for it so we know that mu is equal to n by 2l into under root t by mu okay so what is our mission here the mission here is that we need to find what is the tension on this mass m let me take it to be mass m so the tension here is t and the force here is gravitational force is mg it is in equilibrium now because it is not moving so t is equal to mg okay what is the value of n here the value of n comes out to be 10 because it is given here 10th harmonic so mu is equal to 10 by 2 l l is not given into under root t t is equal to mg and mu can be taken equal to what let us see to it so let it be mu for now so this is the equation one that we get from here. Let us deal with the second point. Now we have been given that a beaker comes which is containing water and is brought under the block so that the block is completely dipped under water. Then the string vibrates in 11th harmonic. So let us try to digest that what is said here that whenever we have the presence of this block here, this block, let me draw it once again here. We bring a beaker to it so that it is completely submerged in water, underwater. So this is present here. So let us draw the forces once again. So the force tension will be acting in the above direction and the gravitational force will be acting in the downward direction those will be same as shown here now what is the difference that comes when we bring a beaker containing water here the difference will be that again a force will be acting in the above direction if you see you take a beaker you put it on water it tries to come above that is due to the buoyant force so let me say that the buoyant force is some f b okay so we need to find the tension because the net formula has tension in it. So the tension plus Fb comes out to be equal to mg. So the tension comes out to be mg minus Fb. So let us put on the formula now. Mu is equal to n by 2l into under root t by mu. So what is n here? It has been given that it vibrates in its 11th harmonic. So n is equal to 11. So 11 by 2L into under root tension. Tension is mg minus Fb. Let mu be mu. So it is equation number 2. 
so this is now this is how we have got till now here now we need to find the question the major question is that we need to find the density of the material of the block so whenever it has been given let us assume it to be some row okay now we have been given that it is dipped under water so the density of the water can be assumed to be as rho w okay so let us see to it let us try to bring all the formulas under density so let us take this formula first of all so from here mu comes out to be what 10 by 2l into under root m so we know that rho is equal to mass by volume so it can be taken here so mass will be equal to rho into v so rho v g upon mu this is equation 1 Now let us do for the second part which is given here. So what can be substituted? See very carefully. It is 11 by 2l into under root. See mg. M is what? M is for the mass mass of the block. So mass of the block can be written as rho into v. So rho into v into g minus fb. And what is the formula of buoyant force? That is the rho of the liquid that we take. Into volume of the block that is shown here into g rho v g. So rho is what rho of the liquid. So that is rho of the water into volume volume of the beaker into g by mu. So this is the second formula that we take. So these are the two formulas which will be used. And see these are very important. Let us see that how to use them. Now the next point is that the value of this equation one. Has to be equal to the value of the equation two. Why? Because we are taking the same tuning fork, and hence the frequency here for the equation one has to be equal to the frequency for the equation two. So, what actually mathematical relation can be derived? That ten by two l into under root rho v g by mu has to be equal to eleven by two l into under root rho v g. Minus rho w. What is rho w for water? That is one gram per centimeter cube. So I am replacing it to be one into v into g upon mu. So let us see that what things can be cancelled. Mu and mu can be cancelled. Two l two l gets cancelled, and v g can be cancelled from either sides. So what I am left here is that ten into root of rho is equal to eleven into root of rho minus one. What is the mission to be found here? Let me take here 10 by 11. So 10 by 11 is equal to under root rho minus 1 by rho. Now squaring both the sides of the equation, so we get 100 upon 121 is equal to 1 minus 1 by rho. So from here 1 by rho comes out to be 1 minus so 21 upon 121. So let me see that if it is correct, 1 minus yes. Uh, so 21 upon 121. So from here. So from here, what is the value of rho that comes out? Rho is equal to 121 upon 21 into what gram per centimeter cube. So this is the final correct answer that has been asked in the question. You can see the question was that we need to find out the density of the material of the block. So material of the block was rho. So we need to find out find out the value of rho. So this is how you proceed with the question. It is a very important question for J Advanced. So First of all what you must know about this chapter is that you must know about the theory if you don't know about the theory for this chapter then it is impossible to solve such type of questions so if there are any doubts you can definitely ask me in the comment section and you can check out my new course for mathematics thank you and best of luck to all of you